Hey guys, what's up? Zero X here, and uh, doing a second episode on the uh, sneak peek of uh, the KSP in Unity 3D. Um, <clears throat> I call it KSP in Unity 3D because uh, most of the um, construction of the game mechanics I'm going to be trying to recreate is going to be Kerbal Space Program a lot. Uh, I think that as far as a space program, I wouldn't really say simulator, but as far as a space program. Uh, concept goes that's really good you know that's uh, a pretty good uh, uh, concept that got going with it so you know I'm gonna try to recreate that and by all means if you are interested in this and you see this video and you know you like you're messing around with unity 2 and you want uh, to help with the project or something and you know, you know how to add some things, or you want to add some stuff to it. Just let me know. I'd be more than happy to uh, distribute the scripts because it's all being done under Creative Commons license. It's uh, I would love to get this thing into like a community type build, where you know we got some people just working on this, and we're creating this really cool thing that we can post on the Unity Store, where people can, you know, be like, oh, you know, check this out. It has, you know orbital mechanics, it's got flight controls, it's got the ability to UV map uh, planets and create planets and you know I can create my own space program type game from here if I wanted to and stuff like that you know this is really cool so <coughs> in the previous video excuse me you guys saw that um, I did the flight controls I got that set up that was ready to go um, I'm still adjusting those a little bit I want to make it a little bit more cleaner, uh, more smooth, because right now it's very, um, <coughs> very glitchy. <laughs> so I want to try to, you know, get those flight controls smoothed out a little bit more. Um, and if you can really see what's on my on the screen right now, you see that I also have a gravity script in there. Uh, that's because I'm going to start working on getting some of the basics of orbital mechanics working and whatnot. So. That's the start of this. Um, but this video right here, uh, if you notice from the title, is called Planet Test. And if you watch the presentation that Squad did for uh, one of the UD3 uh, venues, which I think was, uh, I want to say Unite, but I'm not quite sure. I think it was like 2013 or something. Uh, Felipe, and I forgot the other guy's name, was there. And they were talking about, you know, going through, talking about how they created Kerbal Space Program in Unity and some of the things they had to go through and whatnot. So this video is going to be pretty fast, but what it's going to show is uh, if anybody out there try to UV map a sphere or add a normal map to the sphere, you know that you run into issues where you have polarization, where uh, your textures and your um, bump maps and everything get all uh, <coughs> stretched out towards the north and south pole. And there is other ways you can script to to do that, where you can actually script your UV uh, your UV maps by hand and stuff like that. If you want to go that route, um, or you could do like you see here: you take a square and you pretty much turn it into a sphere, and you just UV map the square. You know, typical UV map, uh, which is what they did actually, um, in order to get their planets to work. This is what they did. So. What you see here is a uh, normal sphere that has, you know, all these different vertices that are um, that are on it. I think it's like, I think I did 24 by 24 by 24 altogether. Um, so the bigger the planet you go, the more faces you need to add to get it more smoother. And you'll see what it does here in a second. So the script for the Spherify is very simple. Um, as you can see, it's just right here. We're just getting the mesh component filter. Uh, we're getting the vertices from that mesh, their vectors, and then we're just normalizing them and offsetting them by the radius. And then we're just recalculating the normals and recalculating the bounds, which is, uh, I think it's this, the uh, um, central I can't think off the top of my head. So very simple, straightforward script. Uh, it's just a start to get things working. Uh, it's going to be revised and re-edited as, you know, the package gets developed further and goes. But all you do is you just bring in your sphere, that or your, your uh, planet that you have. And, of course, if you have uh, normal maps and uh, 
I would probably going to use displacement map. I'll have to test this out to uh, see how that works. Um, right now, I just wanted to get the script functioning. But you would add all that stuff into here, and then you just drop the, the script onto your uh, little planet, and you choose the radius you want. We'll say 20 for this one, for an example. You know, And you can go as high as you want. Just remember, the higher you go, the more vertices you have to put on your planet. All right, so just remember that. And then uh, we'll just run this real quick, and I'll give you an idea of what it does. So, that's what it does. And like I said, as you can see, uh, looking at it, you can see that there is some edges right here where you can see where the size of the squares are and stuff like that, you know. Um, but if you don't have those highlighted, though, you can perfectly see that it just turned it straight into a perfect sphere. So now you can add UV maps to this, you can add normal maps to it, you, you know, you can do all sorts of fun stuff with it, and it'll work just fine. So this is the, the start. This is the start of what they did to get it. Now, for optimization, like I said, the script's going to be kind of, uh, is going to be a lot added to it and changed up a bit because basically how we're going to want to do this is when the player's in a certain distance, for instance, like let's say we're playing the game and we're orbiting the planet around, you know, this close to it, we don't want all the vertices on the other side of the planet, like that much detail being rendered in to the <coughs> uh, rendered in the game world because we're not going to see it till we have it. So what we'll have to do is exactly what he did, where it's based upon the distance from it, uh, what type of level of detail are we going to use, and then blend the two. So we can blend a lower level detail on vertices that are far away on our draw call to where we can't see it that far, you know, our distance of drawing. Uh, that's where the lower level detail kicks in, and then as you get closer, it, the higher detail clicks in, and it just blends the two together and creates a um, <coughs> uh, creates a more optimized game flow and stuff like that. Uh, so the way it's going to work from here uh, with multiple planets is you'll have this one for your lower for your high res detail when you're close in. So that way you have the normal maps, you have the bump maps, or I should say displacement map. You have the displacement map to make all your continents and mountains and stuff like that. Um, and then if you have a planet that's way off over here on this side, that one would just be uh, a low-res version. And it would just basically, because um, we won't have to worry about poles, you know, polarization on planets that are off in a distance, you know how in Kerbal Space Program when you're uh, switching sphere of influences and you're starting to come close uh, to another planet and you're coming in to its uh, encounter and stuff like that, uh, that planet you see there is not the high res detail, it's just a normal uh, textured and stuff like that. And so we won't have to worry about polarization because the player is going to be so far, the player's camera is going to be so far away from that, that it's not going to see that. So we can get away with just doing a normal uh, UV mapping on a sphere and just letting it go to shit at the poles because who cares. And then as we get closer, we'll swap them. We'll bring in, uh, we'll initiate this one, the high res detailed with the normal map and disable the low res detailed map. <coughs> and then there you go. You just pulled off uh, the planetary systems. So uh, I'm sorry that the, this is not as action packed as the other one. But uh, I felt this is pretty cool. And like I said, I will be more than willing to share the script. Or you can pause the video back then if you can see it clearly enough and write the script out yourself. So, But if you're interested in wanting to uh, help out and get involved or something like that. Uh, and kind of bring this project into a community-based project. Which is, excuse me, what I want to do. Then uh, by all means hit me up, send me a message, leave a comment. And uh, we'll we'll get together and we'll figure out how we can uh, be able to swap these uh, project files back and forth when I do an update and when you do an update and so forth and so forth. Um, and yeah, we'll bring this project into uh, reality so people can actually be able to make their own space program games. So until then, and until next time, guys, um, 
I shall see you later. Press like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next episode. Peace.